<clears throat> Let's see. There we go. This is Rowan. Welcome to another episode of Do 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 The Mat Man Show. Brought to you by DBZ All Star. Go like and follow him. Followed by promoted by Cashman Comics. He doesn't know it, but I'm promoting him. On the corner of 22nd Man South Madison Avenue in Bay City, Michigan. If you want anything good, go to Cashman's for some amazing deals. And paid by or not paid. Donations can go to my PayPal. Because I'm a broke ass. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, today's episode. Okay, it's been a while. I was broke January. Um, bills kept piling up, all that shit. Blah, 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 blah. Bills are still piling up. But I have a little bit more money now to finally pick up my two week or two months worth of books. And to hit, excuse me, and to hit the uh, 25 cent bin at my local comic shop. So... Starting with one, this was not on my list, but now is. I want to thank a random customer that was walking into Cashman's and wanting basically every variant out there of this said book. I didn't know this was even coming out. It went right under my radar, but there was one copy left, and I thought I'd all grab it. I'm a huge fan of the series. This is a super violent version, which makes it better, but... Savage Sword of Conan. If the other variant is still there next time, I might grab it, but Savage Sword of Camp Conan. I always love Conan, though. Conan the Barbarian books are always fun. If it comes out in hardcover, I'm still going to get that, but keep the singles, because it's... Covers are fun to collect sometimes. sometimes especially if they're more modern books, covers are really fun to collect. Speak of covers and fun modern books, here's the rest. I got issue number two, third printing of Transformers. This is a really good run. I absolutely love this run of Transformers. It's more, I would say, geared towards adults. Especially if you grew up on Transformers, the inner art, it's just so beautiful. Beautifully well written, well done. Next is technically the prequel, a prequel to the what they're calling that the Energon run, the Energon, the Energon universe. This is the prequel, Ro Void Rivals. I am slowly catching up on it, even though I am owning these single issues. I might still get the trade paperbacks for my bookcases and reread them while I admire the covers. That's just a me thing though. Up next is an old fan favorite. I always love the, the old 80s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles but brought to you by issue number 10 of the Saturday Morning Adventure stuff. This one's a good one. And next one is issue number 9. I had this in reverse. The artwork is so amazing, it does throw you back to the old 80s. Hmm, let's see. Mind you, I didn't even get a chance to review any of this before I left the shop, and I don't remember what's on my polls anymore. <laughs> but, Black Hammer, the end, number five. Issue 147 of Turtles, that is an amazing cover there. Another series I want to get the hardcover collections and keep the covers because these are some badass covers. Number 148 of Turtles, that is pretty sweet. Now it's another one of my fan favorites. This one, if you, even if you're not a comic fan, if you're a manga fan, even, like, just reading in general, this is a series to go with. The hardcover is beautiful. I want to get the hardcover one day. I love this series. I want to reread it, but because I have the first print, first issue of this, I'm afraid to even open it again. But, 
monstrous. It's a very beautiful series. Literally, it's a war between humans and witches, and she has this god thing, like, possessing her, and there's a cat dude, and fox dude, and the innards. This is exactly what you're looking at. It is a beautiful series. Very dark. Very twisted. But I give that series so far a 10 out of 10. Up next, I've always been an Usagi Yojimbo fan. So, variant for Space Usagi. That's actually kind of a cool cover. I didn't even get to really admire that. Then, we got Usagi Yojimbo, another one. Ice and Snow. Love that cover. Not sure who does some of these variants, so. Ooh, another Usagi Yojimbo. Okay, this is the... Of course, that's the original creator version. You can clearly tell by the name. <laughs> but, yeah. This has been an interesting run, that's for sure. Next is... <laughs> I forgot I actually have this. But, Sheena, <laughs> Queen of the Jungle. I actually forgot I, I have these in my poll. It's very... It's very, yeah. That's... Yeah. Next is the final issue of Ice and Snow variant. And another variant of the final issue of Ice and Snow. Ooh. Issue number three of Space Usagi. That is such a trippy cover right there. And because I actually missed the series, I used to collect this a lot. But I stopped because budgeting, but now I miss it again. Spawn. I absolutely love Spawn books. These are amazing and i would love the hardcover and once again cover collecting these they're so amazing then once in a while i do get manga through my comic shop um another volume of common writer kuga have not read these yet my to be a red pile is it's large and then uh the Cheap bin, 25 cents per issue, five for a dollar. I got, I never heard of this series. Could, I wanted to keep them so I could bind them or something, I'm not sure. But The Shade, I've actually never heard of this. That's a DC comic. Looks like it's like a lot of like old-timey witchcraft kind of thing, so... Not too sure. I know I'm going to get hated on the web for saying old-timey witchcraft thingy, but some of these series, this is number three, by the way, some of the series I never really was able to grow up with like a lot of people do because comic shops were kind of hard to get a hold of, and I didn't really have allowance growing up. I grew up poor. Still am poor. Just poor with an extra O. Um, so I didn't get to really enjoy, or really, I guess that's the word, I don't know. Usually the comics I used to get were out of, like, a grocery store, like Myers or Kroger. Yes, I'm Michigan, I'm a Michigander, we had S at the end. Anyways, <laughs> we got more shade. And the final one I got of the shade. Wow, this must be... Eh, this ain't too old. It's advertising PS3 games. <laughs> so, yeah. um, That is my poll for the last couple months. Life update. I'm going through some changes, I guess you could say. I won't really fully reveal until the time comes. Don't worry, it's nothing horrible or bad. Or anything like that. It's actually quite positive. 
And also, my birthday was this month. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to really treat myself to a birthday gift. I bought shelving, finally. Uh, I will do a quick view. This is pretty much what I have so far. I do need a little bit more, especially for that movie wall that I want to shove out in the uh, living room. Because why are movies in a little tiny room here when I don't have a TV in here when they could be out in the living room? But, let's see, other than that, um, not much really else going on. I'm going to try to do more updates as much as possible. It's just I spent all of February and actually January preparing for things and, um, I guess, in money and trying to clean and building the furniture. I did actually break a bookcase, so in the process of uh, trying to build it, that was fun. That. Oh, well. But, um, other than that, there isn't really a whole lot of update. This was, this was a short video, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, I'll oh, have more, like I said. But to wrap this up, that was my poll. Um, like I said, if you want to tip or whatever this is my paypal visit my sponsors that i did at the beginning of the video if you have any questions comments or just want to shout out go ahead comment down below until then see you next time